Oh, cool. You, thing slides on the weed pipe. You made this by hand. Yep. <laughs> manuscript or from around 1420. This is all made of 0.4 millimeter sheet brass. Hammered out first piece on an anvil and then uh, then burnished onto a onto a polished steel form. This is uh, based on a on a Nuremberg trumpet from 1632. Um, and why and did then, you decide to do a Nuremberg trumpet from 1632? Um, because it's it that particular instrument well I, I built this in a course and that was the instrument that the, that the teachers had tools to copy, um, but it was appropriate because it's an early, it's, it's an, a relatively early trumpet, and from dimensions, it's quite conservative. Um, and so it's it's reasonable to use this sort of an instrument for 15th century music, which is what I primarily use it for. This would be used uh, mostly as as the as a uh, Sort of alto voice in a three or four part uh, wind band. Most most towns had little wind bands that would play from the cathedral tower, from the towers on the city walls. <laughs> freelancing with uh, various groups around Europe, um, among others Concerto Palatino and Cantus Köln, which are uh, uh, very well reputed ensembles. I play sometimes with the with the 15th century ensemble Les Oi Les Bas from Freiburg. Um, I have two of my own ensembles, the Habsburger Camerata, which is specialized for 17th century chamber music, and uh, Mandragora, which is a uh, 15th and 16th century Renaissance, uh, so Renaissance wind band. I've made this. Which I've is the uh, trumpet? Uh, late 17th century trombone, um, which for the moment uses the same bell um, because I haven't finished making the uh, the exact copy of, of this Viennese instrument. Watch out! <laughs>